Morning. Right, real cracking video coming up today. Really, really pleased to be able to do this one. This has been in the bank for a while, and today I'm going to take you to a friend of mine who restores vehicles. Now, nothing particularly unusual about that. There's a lot of videos like this, this on sort of YouTube. The difference with this fella is the attention to detail. He's very, very meticulous in how he does things and how, how he goes about the restoration of, of these vehicles. The attention to detail is absolutely awesome. Um, I haven't seen this, this particular vehicle for a while, so that's going to be good just to have a little catch up and then hopefully we can just get a look around his workshop and what else he's up to and, whether willing, we're going to go out for a drive. So keep watching. Right, there's my friend. This is his truck, and he's going to tell us basically the stock stuff, the non stock stuff, and what exactly this truck is. And we'll get it fired up and have a look at the engine as well. Yeah, it's a Chevy Apache um, 3, 3 6 version, 3600 actually. Um, it's a three quarter ton uh, long wheelbase sidestep. Uh, it's got a uh, 3.8 um, 236 engine in it. That's the petrol, is it? That's yeah. petrol yeah. engine, yeah. It's on a four speed gearbox. Um, um, and I've um, I, I completely rebuilt this truck in 2016 17. Now, one thing I haven't mentioned yet, and we've done a little bit of a, a pre thing to the video, is that this is going to be available for sale is that right that's correct yeah all right well people can contact me if they need to know any details that's about right. it yeah yeah and um, we won't talk about price or anything at this stage but i will give you a good look round. have a look in the engine there we go look at that So that's the stock engine, is it what it come with? Yeah, stock engine, uh, that's what it come with. Um, I've just upgraded things. So I've, I've upgraded, I've um, put a, a, an alternator on it. Yeah. I've put power steering on it. Yeah. Um, I've put a damper on the steering. Yeah. Um, I've put, um, I mean, while we're here, I've put electric uh, two speed wipers and, uh, you know, washer bottle in it. Yeah. I'll put electronic ignition on it. And so it's a, uh, um, everyday truck you could drive it and you can drive it anywhere yeah yeah, yeah. colors nice we've got a little bit of this I'll, t I'll just do a quick walk around and then we'll fire her up and have a look at the interior got nice some nice pinstripe and nothing's OTT on this truck it's all I think it's an appeal to a lot of different people in the fact that some of them are very very personalized aren't they yeah so all done by hand of course yeah yeah, paint's absolutely immaculate as we expected. Um, it's, it's been upgraded on its suspension. Right. It's got um, uh, anti-roll bar on the front, anti-roll bar on the back, yeah. which is modern, in the, and it's got tramp bars on this axle, so it doesn't. So when you're braking, it doesn't jump forward. Right. Um, back of this truck's nice. Yeah. It's got a, Two bar, uh, detachable lock on two bar. Yeah. Um, just point out that's got higher level brake lights as well as here. Yeah. Uh, uh, fully rewired for English wiring. Um, this tailgate has got the secret hinges instead of them horrible chains that um, damage your body work. Yeah. And you just uh, do that. They're stainless steel, and it comes down to take take my weight, yeah. your weight, both of our weights. Um, you know, I put the box in. Um, which is just handy to lock, which is fully lockable. Yeah, I don't think you're going to see a cleaner truck if you tried. And this is one hell of a thing in here. All the glass was changed. I changed all the glass. Really? Um, I completely refurbished the inside of the cab. That's a bit of my doing with the uh, American stickers. Yeah. Um, you know, just to just to bling it up a little bit. Um, uh, I completely refurbished the dash, the, the dials, um, and, and of course everything works. Um, I, I did fit the radio because when I bought it, the man had it new in a box, and um, he gave me it with the truck. So, wow. I, got, so I did fit it in. I, wow. You know, yeah. something I wouldn't have done. And that rev counter on there was already in it. Right. I, I think they couldn't read the speedos, <laughs> so, so they read a rev counter as well. 
and the tank is in the back. Well, yeah. Um, you know, they had a new sender unit, that's stainless steel. Um, and, and of course that's all filtered and, you know, the petrol. That's got, that extinguisher actually came with it in a box, so right. I actually fitted it. Didn't come with a jack, but there's a 10 ton jack there. And, 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 and all the tools are, are under, under the seat. Upholstery is bang on as well. So that's about as clean as you're going to find a truck. What's the age of this again? Uh, 1958 looks on here. Has he got a nice sticker to tell you? Wow. <laughs> what it is. Yeah. <laughs> right, let's hear a fired up, shall we? It's a 1958, yeah. And, and, and the, the motorbike things, they, they will air stuck on. That's a, a, just a tribute to Dewey Dunlop, who's on the motorcycle as well. Uh, starter on the floor. Wow. What's that? That sounds like a sound machine, that does. You can hardly hear it running. America's uh, in, in America, they voted, they said in the world, um, they were voting engines, and I thought that was going to be a short block Chevy V8. That's mm. what I thought it was going to be. But this engine was voted um, um, the best engine they'd ever built. Mm. Um, and, and it's because it comes right back from the 40s in the war mm. um, 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 and, and uh, uh, they put in trucks but then they start to put them in passenger cars and then of course they just improved it that was a 216 I think and this is a the latest one which was a 235 and that run right up into the 70s you yeah, said. yeah 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 they put them in put them in um, you know vans saloon cars yeah. trucks everything cool and it, it was because because I, I think the, the reason that got voted uh, because of that was because of its longevity because it will do um, you know um, the mileage and all the rest of yeah. it yeah. And I, what I like about it is um, it's a simple engine. And in, in its day, um, um, uh, Austin um, um, cars um, actually um, nicked the idea. They wouldn't get away with it today. So their straight six engine, which I had in a Healy 3000, mm. actually was this engine with, with very small modifications Right, to right, it. right, right. Uh, you know, so yeah. this engine even came over here. Yeah. And today, if they did it, of course, they'd get sued. Yeah, but yeah, in them yeah. days, that was a bit different. Yeah, it? yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right, we're going to have another quick look round, then you're going to, I'm going to show you uh, another thing that you've you've been involved with as well, another vehicle. So, but you can see for yourself with this truck, it's absolutely spotless. You, I don't think you're going to get as good an example as this, really. Um, nothing needs doing, all spotless. Everything's yeah. been meticulously gone through. It so runs. I did all the brakes. Yeah. Um, I did um, the cables, the hoses, the cylinders, the shoes. I did everything. Would you be on, uh, uh, if there was a Spectrum, would you be on one of those Spectrums <laughs> by any chance? I, I would indeed. <laughs> <laughs> right. And, and I do have a genuine um, um, proper workshop manual with a supplement right. for this truck. And I'll tell you what, that's invaluable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, 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 yeah. for someone like me, where you have to try and find technical detail, yeah. um, you know, you just go to that and yeah. that, there it is. Yeah, wicked. Yeah. Cool. Right, and you, and you can see how I look after it. And you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I am on yeah. the spectrum, as you say. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. This next one is um, this is a little project you got yourself involved in. I haven't seen one of these, and I've seen similar things. So, um, just explain what exactly this is. It's a Ford Fairlane. Uh, um, uh, uh, they call it a courier delivery van. It's based on the Ford Fairlane estate. You can tell by the body shell. This got the V8 in? V8, yeah. Yeah. So, with this, you're not going to go completely, well, you already have gone a bit mental with it, but so it's not going to be re-sprayed or anything like that. Just get. not going to be re-sprayed. Yeah. I did, uh, I, you know, I did, um, uh, you know, just start to rebuild it. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, I think with all these restorations, you can kind of go completely bonkers with stuff, and then you end up losing money, really, in the long run. So unless you're using that, yeah. it's going to be something that's, that's, you know, this really, you, you've you got two or three things on the go, and you just want to start clearing some stock oh, up, yeah, really. Because I've bought another car as well. Yeah. So, uh, you know. Yeah. 
so this one will be available for sale as well with that the V8 will, in. That, that will, yeah, when, when, when I know, um, um, sort of complete the power steering yeah. and um, uh, put the new tank in it, which I've got, um, uh, you know, I, I've done, already done the brakes. Yeah. And I, I was going to use it really as is, and, and, and uh, at the time I bought it, I had four dogs. Yeah. And I thought it was ideal for transport and them about Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, you know, ideal little nostalgia thing. Driving something a bit more like usable, yeah. 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 But did I say it was a Canadian import? Canadian import, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that yeah. was, um, that was uh, you know, they, they built them under licence from, right. from, from America. MLT and tax exempt, you know, it's a historic vehicle. This is first gear, but you pull away for second. Just for a, first as a crawler, then. That's a crawler. Gear, Same yeah. on my coach. Yeah. You yeah. get up a yeah. climb a wall up. I should think of that. Listen to that. And I've got a sticker on the back saying, uh, "You think this is slow? Wait till I." You, I, I just got. got I just got off. That's, that's a joke because this thing does really get along. You know, yeah. it gets along and. Uh,
terrifying being on the wrong side of the road well, for me, yeah, yeah. for well, a passenger. Well, 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 of course, the other thing is, is uh, when you put power steering, a lot of people don't know this, but when you put power steering on a vehicle like this, um, uh, you then have to damp the steering. Right. If you don't, you get what they call death steer. Right. And that'll that'll just you know go where that water goes. Yeah, yeah. But when you damp it, you can see how easy yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. You know. I mean, I've got a dodgy shoulder. I can drive this look like any yeah. look anyway. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely fabulous. I yeah. reckon. I reckon. I mean, that's an improvement. Yeah. I, I, I think. You know, because because uh, there's upgrades and upgrades, and I've done every upgrade you can think. Yeah. Because I, you know, some people say, oh, you should keep a dynamo on it. No, no, put an alternator on yeah, it. Yeah. You know, and put well, electronic ignition. It in depends. It. You want it instantly to start. Yeah. You've got no points, no condenser. Yeah. You got elect that that that, that the, the, the the green machine that's got electron yeah. electronic ignition for that. I I I'll do it to all. I do it to motorcycles. I do it to cars. Well, the know. thing is, as well, if you're using the thing, you don't want to be constantly main uh, under there no, fiddling no. about. You just want to jump they, in. They and all use need. They all need maintained, and then they all need looking after. And you have to remember, this live outside. Yeah, yeah. This live outside. It's got its own cover. Yeah. You know, which come from America, four hundred quid. Yeah. Um, but that live outside. It's live outside. And I've never had it inside because I've got no way of. It's on that. No, no. said that, that's nice to have that bit more power on it. Yeah, yeah. That's smooth on the old box and everything. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be sad to see it go, won't you? I will be sad to see it go, yeah, but you know, it needs must, there's, there's more projects and, and, and either I, you know, keep this and uh, I've got no room, I've now bought another vehicle, Yeah. and you know, and, 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 and uh, you know, this one's used it for than what I used it for, Yeah. Um, you know, I've done three or four proms with it and, uh, and, and to be honest, there's other American stuff there, but this always gets the most attention. Yeah. So there we go, that's the 1958. Apache Chevrolet. That is one hell of a thing. Thank you very much. Okay. Wicked. Nice one, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.